Hello, this is Golden String Studio with a tutorial on using Windows Photo for basic editing. If you don't want to invest in programs like Lightroom, Photoshop, or others, Windows 10 gives you a free program to do your editing. Basic editing will enhance your photos you're sharing on social media or with your friends. It's an easy program to use, so let's get started. I have my photos in file folders, so let's open a folder and select a picture. We're going to start out with this picture of the Sydney Lanier Bridge that's down here in coastal Georgia. Double left click on the photo and you'll see it brings up this large image. From this screen you have a number of different options right off the bat that you can easily quickly modify your picture and maybe that's all you need to do. You can add it to a new album, a new video with music, um, so a very quick little option there. You can zoom in using this slider. You can also, depending on how you set your options, you can use your scroll uh, wheel on your mouse. You can delete the photo. You can add to favorites. You can rotate the picture around and you can crop it from here. There are some other things to search and share. You can explore those on your own. I hope that you will. You can print your photo from here if you do your own prints. And of course you have some other options here including your file information you may want to go in here this uh, will show you your meta data you know when the picture was taken the size the dimensions how you shot the picture your exposure so forth your iso iso what camera you used in this case you can see i'm using a cool pix p1000 and of course your folder path so all of these are options that you can use and it's a good, basic, simple program that I hope uh, will help you if you uh, don't typically today do any editing. Uh, it's, it's very good to do simple things like even, um, even if you want to straighten your photo or change the direction. You can even switch it from side to side. and you can change the ratio of your picture with these simple options. The feature we really want to focus in on today is this edit and create uh, feature that you have with Windows 10 Photos. So we'll click on this and we're going to start out with the first option, edit. <clears throat> As you can see it brings up the comp screen that we saw just a moment ago. Uh, and you can play around with how you might want to crop your photo and uh, depending on the level of detail that you want to display if you've done too much you can quickly click on the undo all button and uh, take it back to the original picture the second option is a filter and uh, I use this enhance your photo sometimes to give it a little more sharpness uh, you got to be careful not to do too much. It can be as sharp as this, which sometimes is a little over sharp. Uh, sometimes I like to go to just a, a bit more. And then you have a number of different uh, uh, filters that you can use. Here's one called Sana, Neo, Slate, Icarus. So you have a number of these and even if you want to do some black and white you've got several options there to convert your color photo into a black and white image. So you select what you feel is most convenient. At any time you can of course save a, a separate copy or you can save the, the original. Uh, really don't save it as the original unless you're really happy with the editing that you've done 
and, and because save will of course replace your original um, photo and you can't go back and recover that. The next option that gives you some nice easy choices is adjustments. We're going to hit undo all and go back to the original photo. And you can see up here you have uh, options, adjustments that you can make to the lighting of your photo, to the color. You can add some clarity, some vignetting. Uh, you can also deal with red eye and uh, spot fixes. Uh, all of these options are quick, simple things that you can do with free Windows 10 Photo. But here you can see there is additional options in here under lighting is uh, contrast so you can modify and change the contrast of your picture to your taste you can adjust the exposure for a more dramatic effect here we can darken up these clouds a little bit you can deal with highlighting a highlighting in the back you can see is changing you can add or uh, shadowing. So all of these are simply available and uh, you can quickly change those. Now you can also have some options with color. Here you have uh, you can uh, change the basic coloring just to add more coloring. But you can also change the tint. Let's leave that for now. Then you also can adjust the warmth. You see you've got a wide spectrum there to deal with. And clarity. You can adjust the clarity of the picture, making it more sharper. And if you like vignetting, vignetting adds uh, a darkness around the uh, peripheral of the picture, sort of causing uh, uh, sort of a frame, if you will, around your picture to highlight the center. So you can adjust that and you can brighten it up that much if that's what your desired effect would be. We can't really demonstrate red eye, but most of you are familiar with so if you're doing a, a portrait type picture of a person and need to deal with red eye, you can obviously do that. Spot fix. You can get this, and uh, if you had a spot somehow on your, cam on your camera, maybe uh, when you took the photo, you can resolve that issue here as well. So these are all the various uh, basic editing options that you can do. And uh, you can see here, you can reverse your undo, the last changes that you made, or you can reset the entire picture. Again, you can come over here and save or save a copy. Again, do not do save unless you want to replace your original photo, which will be lost to you. If you don't want to lose your original, make sure you hit save a copy. Those are the basic options. And if you decide you don't like any of them, you can simply cancel and go back to your original photo. Windows Photo also gives you the opportunity to do some creative things with your photo. Uh, so you might like to play around with these and see how they might enhance your particular piece of work that you're working on. The next option we're going to look at is the draw, which adds an artistic touch. Uh, I'm not much of an artist. You see you've got uh, various colors and things of this nature that you can choose from. You can actually use different kinds of pens. That's a pencil, a ballpoint pen, or a calligraphy pen, or you can erase and take care of the, anything that you've done. So let's go back to the ballpoint pen. We've selected a color of red, and you can just go in here and add whatever you might want to your photo. Maybe you want to highlight something. So you see you have different kinds of, 
of tools that you can use to simply play around with your picture. And of course you can save a copy or you could cancel the changes and we'll just cancel these for now. You can play around with that and see what works for you. Another option you have is to add 3D effects. This can be kind of fun. So let's take a look at this. It opens another editor. And you can see you have your picture. And you're going to basically get a five second uh, little video uh, from whatever you do with this. And over here you can see you have a number of effects that you can add to your photo. So let's add some bats to our photo. And you can see you can actually extend the length of this. You can move it within the five second span. So let's adjust it and kind of set it in the middle. And then uh, let's start our marker back here at the beginning and hit the play button. And you can actually add more effects if you want to go back to your list. And uh, let's put in uh, let's put in some butterflies. And we're going to put those at the beginning. We'll set our playhead back to the beginning and hit play. Now one of the things you can do with, uh, with this as well is you can adjust uh, these, the size of these things. Uh, let's drop out of these and let's find another effect. Uh, so here we have a, a rainbow sparkles and you can see the default size came up to this. But here let's move it over here where we can see it and you can change the size, you can change the rotation. So you can play around with however you want to use that effect. Inside your table. And again once you've saved it. You can simply save a copy and uh, of course you haven't messed up your original but in this case we're going to cancel this. The last option that we're going to be looking at right now is add animated text. You can see this right here and you've got a number of different uh, animated text I'm going to type in Golden String Studio. Uh, I'm going to change the font a little bit, make it a little fancy there. You can change the layout down here. So it's the top or bottom. And then let's, let's play it and see what happens. So that's not a bad way that you can use this tool to, um, to also uh, watermark your photos uh, if you're posting them on social media and want to make sure that they're watermarked and that you of course get credit at all times for your photo. You can, uh, you can do some things with zooming, uh, different motions. So let's, let's try to zoom in. Uh, let's try a zoom in center and let's see how this works. Now we'll try pan left.
and we're going to zoom in to the center. So again, a cool tool to use to uh, add some motion to one of your pictures if you're trying to do something like on Facebook where you want a little um, GIF GIF file. And then you have again some different filters here. This option, different filters. And some of these can be quick ways to improve your photo. Here's an unusual one. Let's see what the overall effect is. So you have several options there to play with. And again, anything to do that you want to add or enhance your photos. Well, those are three ways uh, that you can do special effects to your photos in addition to the basic editing choices that you have using filters here or the adjustments here. And again, if you don't want to invest in um, a costly program or you don't really enjoy working that much with editing, all you need is a basic editing program then the Windows Photo program works pretty good. Uh, as you can see, it does the real basic options uh, and lets you enhance your photo and will improve what you post on social media or send to your friends or keep for yourself. I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial. Uh, this is Golden String Studio. Please subscribe to my channel. I have uh, lots of videos uh, that you can view. And I hope this might be helpful if you're a photographer or a beginning photographer and just need a basic program to use to do your editing. Thank you for watching.